Now, uh, let's go. Actually, we have video that Dan Benanti shot from those press conferences. Mm -hmm. You can hear the audio. Great. You can hear him kind of arguing with reporters. You know, the reporter's saying something, and Benanti says, you mean false flag, you know, trying to say, mm -hmm. like, this is, what, this is what the issue should be. Is this a false flag? And, you know, why were loudspeakers out there telling people to be calm? And yeah, just stand right there, question. and the bomb's going to blow up in 10 seconds. Exactly. So this is a premiere of this footage, right? This yeah, well, Dan's I, I don't think footage, anybody's or... seen this footage. Yeah. He put it on his YouTube channel on private this morning. I pulled it off, cut up a little bit. It's not the full press conference, but here it is. Right. Is there any security footage of any of these explosions? We are uh, looking at all of that right now. That's one of the investigative steps that we have been taking. Was there any prior knowledge, Joe? Because according to BostonGlobe.com, they said they were doing drills this morning for the same exact thing to happen, according to BostonGlobe.com. Now, were you guys given any warning ahead of time of this uh, uh, taking place? As I said earlier, there was no specific intelligence. Uh, we certainly increased uh, posture around a big event like this. All of those things happened in preparation for this event, but there was no specific intelligence that anything was going to happen. Ed, can you talk a little bit about what type of device do you have? The city of Boston uh, is open and will be uh, open tomorrow, but it will not be business as usual. It will be a heightened law enforcement presence consistent with the severity and seriousness of the ongoing investigation. People should expect uh, those who are riding the T, uh, that there will be uh, random checks of backpacks and other parcels. Um, and we just ask everyone to be patient with that inconvenience for the time being. It is for the public's safety. Here uh, in the state, at the local level and at the federal level, we are all coming together to do everything we can to get to the bottom of, of, uh, of this. The most important fact that I want to convey to everybody this evening has already been mentioned by Governor Patrick. Uh, the FBI is taking the lead in this investigation. It is, asserting, it is asserting federal jurisdiction. It will do so through the Boston Joint Terrorism Task Force, members of which are comprised by all the members of the uh, law enforcement agencies here represented at the podium. This will be a combined federal, state, and local effort. It will be an ongoing investigation. It is a criminal investigation that is, has the potential, uh, is a potential terrorist investigation. Do you take any questions? Oh, sir, why were loudspeakers telling people in the audience to be calm moments before the bomb went off? Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security uh, sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? No. Next question. You have said that there's no suspect, but is there a I'm not going to confirm that right now. We'll have that information for you first thing in the morning. The medical people are compiling that as we speak. Again, why were speakers telling people to uh, be... Uh, Characterizing the act of terrorism. Extent of the injuries, how serious people are. This is a very powerful point. Right now, that area that the governor outlined is our main point of focus right now. Again, why were people telling you know, speakers telling people to be calm? Before the bomb went off, I want to answer that question. Currently, in your search for additional devices, are you are you searching the entire route of the marathon, or are you focused on certain areas right now? Are there specific areas that you're focused on beyond the, beyond the Copley area? At this point in time, our focus of the investigation is in the area that the governor mentioned. Why was people being told to apply it to the bomb going off? Accounted for people? If so, how would you? We're, we're actually working very closely with the families right now. We're setting up a location uh, near here uh, that families can come to if they have any questions. Uh, the gov the uh, mayor's office has fielded uh, many uh, calls of concern. We're going through those right now. Okay, right sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why was people being told prior? 9:30 tomorrow morning. Why was people being week. told prior to the bombs going off to stay calm? Yeah. That's a false flag, gentlemen. Just to put more TSA on the street to rob our civil liberties. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. I love the guy. I think he was in in the far far uh, far corner in the blue shirt, yeah. and he was like. He's like, yeah, cut, 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 cut. And then you see the lady over there come up and say, come on, we're getting out of here. We're cutting the press conference. You know, she comes from off stage and says something. The general kind of looks over there. She is right there on yeah. the left. She's like, come on, we got to get out of here. We yeah. got somebody who can see. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let's wrap this yeah, up. Yeah, that guy in the blue shirt you can see right there. He's like, cut his mic, cut his mic. And uh, we were playing a game of who's the Fed. <laughs> and uh, I correctly guessed, but I had already seen this footage. But when I was watching the footage earlier, I was the like, "That guy looks like agent. a he looks like a looks like a Fed right there." The guy in the red tie, He's got cropped hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know the only thing that it, a dead giveaway would have been if he was bald, because the Feds <laughs> yeah. nowadays they it's the the, and, thing uh, bald. the clip earlier the the first clip 
with the uh, with the governor, and he was just giving Badani just the stink. Yeah, look, like, he'll oh, yeah, look oh, over yeah, here in a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There it is. There it is. He's doing right the, the people's eyebrow there. That, yeah, that's almost the same look that the head of the IRS gave Aaron Dykes when uh, when he was asked a question. We were in front of where Joe Stack crashed his plane into the IRS building, and. Um, uh, he tried to get the question in about the 20, tr uh, bill 20 trillion in derivatives uh, to Tim Geithner, and uh, Tim Geithner went, Shh. they did this kind of piss <laughs> at him, and, and then the head of the IRS looked over and was like, mm. and you just see this, whoa, total hatred, and uh, it's it totally reminiscent of They Live, I've got one that can see. Yeah.